fellow Backyard Warriors, Nick here, and today we're going to be building a simple PVC pipe flute. Now this one is going to be similar to a Native American style flute. It's going to have two chambers and a fipple. So I'm starting off with a piece of SDR21 pipe. This is a thin wall pipe, and this is similar to the types of pipes that are commonly found in sprinkler systems and I believe it's similar in thickness to a lot of the pipes found in other countries outside of the US. The first thing I'm going to do is cut a 16 inch piece of this pipe and I'm also going to cut a 2 inch piece that we'll save for later. So I've gone ahead and cut these pieces out. This is going to become the main body of the flute. So here you can see I cut a slit in this piece of pipe before I cut it to length. And this is going to slide over the end of the pipe and create the airway once we've got everything else cut out. So next I'm going to use some medium grit sandpaper to remove all the letters and smooth out the surface of the pipe because this one has some scratches and some imperfections. So I'm going to do that to both of these pieces. So now that I've got these pieces cleaned up, it's time to work on our air chamber and our fipple, which is going to make the sound. So I've gone ahead and drawn a small rectangle that's a quarter of an inch wide and an inch long, and I started at two and a quarter inches from the end of the pipe. This is going to create our air chamber and our fipple. So I'm going to drill this out with a quarter inch drill bit and then clean it up with a file. So now that I've cleaned out the rectangle, I'm going to go with the edge of my file and create the fipple. That's what's going to create the sound. I'm going to file on both sides because the airway is going to be right in the middle. We're going to cap this off and that's going to create our airway here. So I want to bring this down just a little bit and also file from the inside. All right, here it is. You can see I've sharpened it on both sides. I'm going to use some sandpaper, clean off the inside here, and then we'll start working on our plug. So the next thing I do is cut a half an inch thick plug. Now you can make this out of a cork or a piece of dowel. In this case, this is a piece of hardwood dowel and it's 7 eighths of an inch in diameter. So what that means is that it'll fit easily inside of this pipe. Since the dowel is smaller than the inside of the pipe, I'm using a piece of electrical tape, about one to two layers, to add some body so that it'll fit nicely. I also like doing this because it helps keep the wood from expanding and contracting, which can happen when the wood gets wet when you're playing. And I'm just pushing it down until I have about 5 sixteenths of an inch. We can adjust this a little bit in a second. So now I take this split 2 inch piece we cut and I slide it over the main pipe. And then I bring it down so that the edge of it lines up with the edge of the plug. Well, let's see how it sounds. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm going to push it down just a little bit so it's a little less airy of a sound. That sounds pretty good. So now I'm going to start drilling my finger holes. Now I'm going to leave this mouthpiece open, but if you wanted to, you could close it by either putting a one inch long plug, wooden plug, in the end here and drilling a quarter inch hole to create your first chamber. Or you can take a PVC plumbing cap, drill a quarter inch hole in the end of that, and place it on the end for a mouthpiece. You can also do a little heat shaping so it looks a little closer to a traditional style mouthpiece. Or you can leave it open-ended like this, and there's nothing wrong with this. 
So I'm not tuning this flute to any particular key or scale. I'm just going to use my thumbs as a measurement and put all of my holes in here by thumb widths. So what I'm going to do is I've marked four inches from the end. I'm going to drill my first quarter inch hole here. Then I'm going to measure the next hole with my thumb and just keep drilling until I have six holes. What I did was I drilled my first hole, measured with a thumb, drilled my next one, measured with a thumb, and so on until I got all six of my holes. So now I'm going to clean this up with some sandpaper and it'll be all done. So here's the flute all finished up. Now I'm going to leave this one like this, but you could put almost any type of finish you want. You could paint it, you could decorate it, pretty much any finish that'll work on a PVC bow or other PVC project will work on these. I hope you enjoyed building this flute along with me today, and if you have any suggestions for other flute videos you'd like to see me do, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to check my channel out for more, and I've also written several books on different topics, including one on making PVC pipe flutes, and you can check out the links to those in the description below. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!